we're not too far from Taos right now. It's about, um, what time is it? It is 12.05 p.m. and we've been driving from Las Vegas, New Mexico for a while. But as you can see, maybe in the background there, there's actually snow-capped mountains up there, you know? And uh, coming up this mountain here, yeah, we were going about 35. <laughs> Uh, all of those horses under there were doing the best they could. They were, they were struggling, I'm telling you. But yeah, it's a, it, once you get over that hill, the mountain right there, it's not too bad the rest of the way, as I recall. Yeah. But yeah, we're, we're driving from actually Las Vegas, New Mexico, toward Taos. We're on Highway 518 going north. And it's really pretty. It's very similar to uh, the Cloudcroft Drive. Uh, yeah, but there's more aspen trees here, I think, because of the elevation. I'm not sure where, where I am right now. Elevation, probably 7,500 feet in that range. And that's what Taos is. You go up and down the mountains, you go up to probably close to 9,000 feet and back down to seven and back up to nine and on and on you go when you're driving through these mountains. But it's been a beautiful drive. Temperature right now shows to be 68 degrees and uh, at no wind. Wind is not a factor. You can't go very fast on this highway, obviously. Because there are a few little small towns you got to go through, and the speed limit in those towns are like 25. Yeah, this is the Towles County line right here. We went from a good road to a bad road. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah. But yeah, driving from Las Vegas, New Mexico to Towles is, uh, you'd have to allow, geez, I don't know. It's not that far in miles. But I'd say it's going to be about a two-hour drive for you, maybe more. It's more for me because I've stopped twice, uh, once to pee and once to fix my lunch. And that is so nice, man. i got to tell you, being in a Class C motorhome is my most enjoyable driving experience. Why? Because it's, it's everything, man. It's a house. I can cook, I can do anything I want to, you know? And, uh, you know, you can't even do that in a limo. You know, so this is this is really nice. Now, it's not very economical, 10 miles to the gallon, but, you know, if you're not going far, uh, it's not bad. The mountains of, well, we're in northern New Mexico now, north central, I guess. Uh, we're in the Angel Fire, Red River, Eagle Nest, Cuesta area. We're not we're not through Taos yet. We still have to get to get around Taos. But I I just thought I'd do this video because it's such a a pretty part of the drive. Oh yeah, you're going to be buried in videos. I'm going to turn this thing a little bit the other way. Does that make it worser? I don't know. Well, we'll leave it like that. At least you can see both sides of the road now. And it's, uh, yeah, really nice. Uh, knock on wood. Yeah, there was that was a steep climb, you know. It had some cars behind me, and that always, I'm always aware of them, even though there's nothing I can do. But I was trying to hold the RPMs under 4,000 RPMs. I, I don't know. Not that it hurts the engine, I don't think, but I just don't like the noise it makes. So I was holding it about 3,800, and uh, and right now we're at 1,600 RPMs, and we're coasting now down the other side. Would I want to live out here? No. Well, I mean, in the summers maybe, but in the winters, no. Uh -uh. No, I, I don't. I don't do snow plows too well. There are some RV parks out here, and there's obviously some places for sale along this highway. And uh, again, 
uh, we're leaving something historic boundary moral land grant well I'm glad they told me that pretty neat huh guys amazing what a few hours driving will do there's a stream also a little river I don't know if it's the Mora River over there or not but it's just right off the road you can actually stop and walk down there and some people actually do stop and go down there and fish trout fish I took a, a pan a, a little cooking pan down there one time and pan for gold. Oh, I found millions of dollars worth. Actually, I didn't find anything. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see if I get lucky. I didn't. Oh, Lucky. Remember the dog named Lucky? Three legs, no tail, one eye, one ear, and answered, answered to the name of Lucky. I can relate to that. But we're cruising now guys this is this is a good part here and as long as all my directions hold together but yeah you take 518 all the way to well for me since i'm going to go around taos i want to get on 68 and then it intersects another all right it, this intersects 68 i don't but i got to turn left and then a little right 240 or something so i go around taos and come out on 64. I know you wouldn't know that. Yeah, those cars parked there, those are people that are fishing. Temperature holding at 69 degrees. Isn't this pretty though, man? You know, this makes this makes the trip for me is is this kind of scenery and you know, knock on wood, there's no uh, there's only 45 cars behind me lined up all the way back to Las Vegas. No, there's two back there. And when I'm going the speed limit, it's a 45, 45 mile an hour speed limit because you just wind around through the mountains. And uh, I'm going 45. What can I say, guys? And this says what? This says Trace, Trace Ritos, R I T O S. And then we'll have to slow down. Let's see if that's on my list of little towns. La Junta Canyon's to the right. Forest Road 76 is to the right. And do I see, no, I don't see it on my list, but we're on the road I want to be on, I'm sure. I'm sure a lot of people out there are fishing. Well, we've picked up some more cars now. Looks like a parade. Well, it is. This is a 4th of July parade. I just happen to be in front for a change. Well, it's that speed limit, 40, I'm 40, man, what do you want? There's a house for sale here on the left in Tres Vitos, R-I-T-O-S, and it is a little log cabin looking thing. Do you want to live in Tres Ritos? Rhymes with Fritos. Doesn't look like there's much going on here. You know, it's, what happens is people come out here in the summers and it's so pleasant that they want to own it. You know what I mean? They want to own it. Have I ever done that or had that feeling? Sure, I've got a place in Capitan and it's that same uh, urge, you know, that same thing. We're going 45 and 40. Well, now there's only one car behind me. Where did everybody go? No, they're going. Never mind. There was a curb. We'll let this go for a few minutes just to give you the flavor of the area near Taos, New Mexico. It's it's whenever you drive around on the uh, Enchanted Circle Drive, it's similar to this, only it's. Uh, more up and down if you because this is pretty good here there are some campgrounds here too and there's uh, Papu 
ski resort. There's a big, uh, I don't know if that's a state park. That might be a state park on the left there, come to think about it. Or it's a big RV park, or whatever it is, it's slammed. And that reminds me, I drove by Story Lake, which is a state park in Las Vegas, New Mexico. I have never seen a state park that crowded in my entire life. I mean, it was, it was jammed. Wherever a car could park or an RV could park, they were parked. And people, my gosh. Yeah, well, I have a feeling most of the, particularly if there's a lake there or a river, you can bet that it's slammed. That's a beautiful little stream there on the left. Uh, I bet that water is ice cold because it's snow melt. We're not too far from Quest. I imagine uh, probably, let's see what time is it again? It says 12, 15, probably a couple of hours because you can't really make any speed uh, through here and I don't want to because you're going to have a lot of touristas and vacationers in New Mexico uh, that are not really paying attention and they can walk right out in front of you. Now, if you're ever going through Taos downtown by the square driving, be aware nobody's looking. So guys, whenever I get a straight enough stretch here, I'll end this video and uh, you'll see plenty more like this. So let me start my routine here. Thumbs up, carpe diem. Adios, bye bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link. Stretch, walk, take deep breaths. Keep your health and enjoy your life. It's Y O U R, your life. Oh, here's the deal. Here, what does this say? This says Carson National Forest. Okay. Day use area. So this is the Carson. National Forest. Yeah, that's the one all around Dallas and stuff. Now the speed limit's 35. I'm going 40 plus and I ain't losing anybody. So Well, you, you get this big old thing rolling here down these hills and then you come around a curve and there's a reason to stop abruptly. You, you got a problem. Or somebody has a problem. There's a little store here on the left uh, that I've been to. It's got gasoline. It's three eighty-nine a gallon. I'm surprised it's that cheap. The cheapest gasoline I've seen is uh, in Las Vegas. It was three thirty-three a gallon for regular unleaded. So that'll be my stop on the way back. This is kind of a little community. I don't think it's a town. But it's called, it says S I P A P U Campground. So Papoon, maybe? Whatever. It's a ski resort, too, I think. So I've already ended the video and I'm still going. I can't stop me. I'm the gingerbread man. Enjoy your day, guys. Adios. Got to I got to concentrate. Bye.